Welcome Gemini to messages from your special person weekly love tarot reading. For those of you that are new to the channel I'd like to welcome you and for those of you returning welcome back and of course thank you for your continuous support. So the tarot spread here is intended for Gemini Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and it is a general reading so please take what resonates with you and just discard the rest. Or perhaps you may be interested in a personal uh, tarot reading with me. If so please feel free to inquire. I am going to list the email address just below the video here in the show more section along with all the different types of readings that I offer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the messages that are coming through here from your special someone. What is it that they're wanting to tell you or what is it that they feel like you should know here? What is it that they want to communicate to you here, whether verbally or non-verbally, Gemini? Okay, let's take a look. You do have the Five of Wands, the Three of Swords here, the Eight of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Lovers card. Okay. You have the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups, and then you also have the Lovers card, which sort of forms a bit of a love triangle here with the Angel in consideration with Adam and Eve here. So I feel like for a lot of you Gemmies, this person here that we're... Um, you know that we're going to be looking at I feel like there might have been a third-party situation there might have been you you know them and then someone else um, I feel like this is a connection here that might have resulted in heartbreak or this is someone who might have hurt you deceived you broken your trust here or someone who broke your heart here okay um, or perhaps if they are the, their energy, maybe they're the ones that had their heart broken. With the Five of Wands, I feel like you guys, uh, this is someone with whom you're in. There's a lot of conflict here, or there has been a lot of conflict and a lot of strain on this connection that the two of you have been experiencing. I can also see that this person is at, uh, is, they're at war with their head and their heart here, okay? I feel like this person is in a relationship or they're in a connection with someone else. But I feel like they're, they're, they're wishing it was you instead, okay? I feel like they had the chance, though. I feel like they had the chance here um, to get to know you. They had the chance to explore a connection with you, but they didn't take that chance. And now it seems as though they might have missed the boat, but now it appears as though this person is someone who is thinking about you and, you know, they want to communicate here. They want to communicate and they possibly want to um, get something started here. With the Eight of Swords, there's a stuckness here to their energy. This person feels like they want to reach out and they want to call you up or they want to message you. But they fear, I feel like they fear rejection here from you. This might have been someone whom you rejected before. And maybe because, you know, they're in a relationship or in a marriage and you don't necessarily want to entertain that Gemini. And maybe that was the basis of your rejection. Or maybe, you know, this person has hurt you before and you don't necessarily want to go back to what broke you. So, yeah, I feel like this person is... There's... A strong desire for them to try and reach out and try and communicate something to you here but it seems as though that they're holding back from communication because they're scared of how it may be received on your end they're scared that you may shut them down and they're scared that you may reject them and if you reject them then that you know um then that sort of uh that window of opportunity closes in on them right so the Eight of Swords, I feel like this is someone who is not coming forward. I also feel like this person is still in their mind, you know, given what's happened between the two of you. I feel like this person is still playing the victim here. They're taking on the victim mentality. Um, look, they could have been the ones to hurt you, but to them, it seems like it's not all their fault. Like, they don't want to take all the blame for it. So I feel like this is someone who's having a hard time dealing with the uh, dealing with the consequences of their actions here. This is someone who is still very much attracted to you, or this is someone who's still very much thinking about you, Gemini, from what I can see. Uh, you know, they're still 
there's some sort of spark or some fire that you lit up within them that has never diminished and has never gone away and I feel like this person wants to reach out and wants to communicate with you and they want to reignite this flame here okay they want to fan the flames here I am seeing though I feel like they're still in a connection in a marriage or in a partnership with someone else okay I feel like there is still there seems to be someone else around them. There's like a, another energy here that I'm seeing. Um, but to be honest with you, it feels as though this person can't get you off their mind. You've done something to them. You've awakened something within them. And, you know, they can't move away from you. Uh, be it as, you know, as they try, but they're having a hard time here. It's like, you know, they're they're trying to fight their feelings and they're trying to resist from contacting you or resist from thinking about you. But the more they resist, the stronger this feeling persists within them. So they're having a hard time with this. I feel like this was someone that you might have been in a relationship with or you might have been in a connection with or the two of you had something special. But I feel, I feel like it never really... Um, not that it never really manifested, I just feel like the entry of a third party situation here has um, has thrown off the balance, right? Yeah, I'm seeing that this is someone who is, they still think about you a lot and they're still very much attracted to you here, Gemini. What they want you to know is... They want responses from you. They want you to be responsive to them. They want you to, you know, um, engage here. They want you to communicate with them here. They want you to possibly give them a chance or at least hear them out. They haven't been, they can't get you off their mind. They haven't been able to stop thinking about you and, you know, They've been trying, they've been trying to resist this, but like I said, it just keeps persisting and they're bothered by this. They're bothered by the fact that they can't get over you. They're bothered by the fact that they can't stop thinking about you, he, Gemini. Um, so yeah, they, they, they at least want you to hear them out. They at least just want you to hear them out and then just go from there. But I, Gemini, feel like there's a little more to this. I feel like... Yeah, I just feel like this person seems either they're still in a relationship with someone or they might have recently met someone and look, it may not necessarily have a title slapped on it or a label yet, uh, but it seems as though they may be in a connection with someone else, but here they are, they're thinking about you. They may be with her, they may be with him, but they're thinking about you here. Okay, Jamies, and that is your spread. So thank you again for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, by liking, sharing, or commenting below. Otherwise, take care, guys, and I will catch up with you later in the week.